ace of the Cape Cod Baseball League. Wind's blowing out today at Judy Scarafile Field at McKeon Park here in Hyannis as the Wareham Gatemen face the hottest team in the league, the Hyannis Harbor Hawks, this evening. Here on the leadoff spot alongside Aiden Blank, Chuck Hunter with you. And Aiden, it was a nice off day, and let's hope the Gatemen can continue the momentum from the day before and a big win over Harwich. Yeah, final off day of the regular season, and now comes the playoff push. Same deal as it was the last game. Wareham needs to win if they lose and Bourne wins and Falmouth wins either a point or two points, they're out. So again, playing for their playoff lives, but still very much in control of their own destiny. Win two points and you're still hanging around. Speaking of in control, Brett Wozniak was in control in his last start before the All-Star break versus the Bruiser Whitecaps. Six innings, one earned run. Aiden, what can we expect to see from him today? Yeah, Brett was in control, kind of surprised everybody with six strong innings you need that again. The starters have been really good. This is a very, very good stretch of starting pitching. That is one of the strongest things about this team right now. That's got to continue, and hopefully the bullpen can continue to hold the line as they did against Harwich. Well, the game men are going to need a hot final six games of the year, probably to run the table to make it into the Cape League playoffs, and let's hear from the skipper now on how the team tries to do that. Back on the lead-up spot on the manager show with Ryan Smythe and coach of the off day. A great day to reset. The night before that, you had a big win against the Harwich Mariners at home. What can you take away from that game? Uh, we keep fighting. Um, I'm going to keep saying until the end. Um, these guys have, uh, have given us everything they've gotten, um, everything they got for, for quite some time now. And um, that last game is an indication of, of what type of team this is. Um, they don't want to lose. They don't want to go home. Um, you know, so we're going to keep fighting. And Grant shared in that game with three RBIs. He's had very productive at bat since he's been here with you. What has that meant for the team? Oh, it's been huge. Um, he's a, a great late addition. Um, gave us a little spark in the in the middle of the order that we needed. Um, you know, hits it to all fields, puts the ball in play. Um, doesn't strike out a whole lot. Um, you know, so he's been a he's been a huge help. When we're here at Hyannis today, another away game. You have yet to beat Hyannis. What does the team need to focus on to get a win today? I think this is the last team uh, that we ha this is the only team I, I believe that we haven't beaten this year. Um, so it'd be really nice to get one. We need it tonight. So um, I think these guys know that as well. Uh, so we'll we'll see how it plays out at the end of the night. And you touched on it in the beginning here. You've got six games in the regular season left. What's the message to the team as you go forward for the rest of the season? Just keep playing hard baseball until the last out of the season. That's all you can that's all you can ask of them. Um, and that's all they can do at this point. I appreciate the time coach. Thank Absolutely. you. Back on the leadoff spot as we go around the league here. Jack and Aiden with you and Aiden as we look around the east, a new team has clinched the playoffs. Yeah, the Orleans Firebirds are the second team in the West to clinch the playoffs. The fourth team overall, it's now Katuit, Hyannis, YD, and Orleans all going into postseason baseball. And you got a really good matchup there, a great development in the three and four spots. Brewster is now just one point back of Harwich. That could get very interesting, see if they catch the Mariners. Chatham still 10 points down, looking like they'll be eliminated any day now. They're on their third manager of the summer. Things have gotten a little tricky there, but uh, overall, East Division, even though two teams have clinched, still a lot to be played. There's still a chance that YD gets caught for that number one seed, so nothing really solidified in the East. And not to get too deep in the weeds with scenarios in the West, but Falmouth could very easily clinch tonight. If they get a point and if the Gatemen lose on the road, they will clinch their spot in the playoffs regardless of what Bourne does. And then the Braves obviously in fourth place. That's the team to catch right now here on the leadoff spot. Let's hear Amanda now with Grant Sheridan. I'm joined now by Grant Sheridan. Grant, two nights ago you had your second home run of the season and also had a double to send in what would be the, the game-winning run for the Gateman. What was working for you at the plate? Uh, just hitting fastballs early in counts. Both my hits were off uh, the first pitch, I think, you know, and uh, I've been do uh, doing a lot of cage work, hitting, hitting fastballs is kind of what I've been struggling with, so it's good to get some good swings off. What kinds of adjustments have you made in the cage? Uh, staying taller, staying on top of the ball, you know, hitting it more consistently. 
What's your mindset when you go out, either at the plate or out in the field? Oh, I'm going to get a hit, you know, or I'm going to be successful. You know, that's, that's how it has to be to be uh, good at this game. Oh, and how did it feel to help the Gateman get a win the other night? Uh, I felt good, you know, we've been slumping a little bit. So, you know, it's a good team win, and uh, hopefully we'll get another one today. In your mind, what needs to happen to be able to do that tonight? Uh, do our jobs, uh, throw strikes, uh, play clean defense, and hit the ball. What's been your favorite part about playing for the Gateman so far? Uh, the guys, you know, it's great, great team, uh, great group of guys, you know. Um, playing with big, you know, guys from big schools, you know, it's fun, you know, getting this experience. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Great. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. I'm joined now by today's starting pitcher, Brett, Ro Brett Wozniak. And, Brett, in your last outing, you went six innings, had a successful outing. What are you looking to take from that into today? I'm just looking to just kind of do the same thing as I did last time and pound the zone with both sides of the plate up and down and all my pitches, and hopefully defense backs me up, and hopefully we come out with a win. Has there anything, has there been anything that you've worked on improving in your time out here on the Cape? You know, honestly, just kind of just uh, working on all my pitches because that's what summer ball's for, and just kind of working on my body as well. What's the experience been like out here pitching against some of these really talented guys? So, I mean, ever since I was little, the, the goal is to make it to the Cape. Like, that's the pinnacle of college baseball other than the College of Series. So it's been pretty cool, like, just to, I mean, a lot of my buddies are out here and stuff like that, so it's just kind of cool to, like, match up against them and, you know, just play some really good baseball. You said this was a goal of yours. What were the emotions for you when you found out you would be able to come up here? So, like, the plan, I thought I was going to be out here in the beginning of the season, but didn't, that didn't happen, and I got a call, like, saying, like, I need to get out here and pitch, and I was just, like, kind of a whirlwind of events. Like, got on a plane on the third and then pitched on the fifth, and I was just, like, after the first inning, I was like, oh, I got this. Like, it's, it's pretty cool. So not, not a lot of adjustments that you needed to make once you get out here? Not really, because, I mean, baseball is just a game, but, like, just that first pitch is just, like, a whole weight lifted off your shoulders because you just work for, like, just being in this position, like, for a, lot, for a long time. And when it happens, it's like, damn, we're finally here. And what's your favorite part about being out here with, with the Gateman? Favorite part's just being in with the guys, like, just long bus rides. <laughs> you know, just hanging out with the guys in the dugout and just having fun and having a good old time because it's just baseball at the end of the day. All right, thank you. Good luck today. Thank you so much.